see, 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 see the scriptures in First Corinthians 10 and 13 puts it to us very plainly. He says, God is faithful. Can y'all read that with me? God is faithful. He will keep the temptation from becoming so strong that you can't stand up against it. Keep going. When you are tempted, he will show you a way out so that you will not give in to it. We're going to run with this scripture for the entirety of this series. Y'all got to get this, man, that, that, that God says, first of all, he's not shocked that you're tempted. If he's not shocked that you're tempted, then he's also, he's also uh, what we'll call uh, the advocate, the parakletos, the one who walks alongside us. See, God don't just wait until we get in trouble and walk with us. He walks alongside us, even in our trouble and struggle and our addiction. So all we got to do is tap into the parakletos. Can I tell something about the modern day church? When did we begin to uh, uh, kick out the Holy Spirit from our services? You know, just because a few folk who got quote unquote caught up in the Spirit and ran into a wall don't mean the Holy Spirit is erratic and should not be invited into our services. Because my brothers and sisters, we need the Holy Ghost to help us, deliver us, and walk us out of the valley of the shadow of death. We need the Holy Spirit's opportunity in today's church just because some folk went crazy with it crawled on the pews and did erratic dances doesn't mean we don't need the Holy Spirit to work in our lives baby that's some stuff in me that if it were not for the Spirit on the inside so let me get to it I'm gonna deal with an acronym of breaking free so each